This video is brought to you by the Edinburgh Watch Company, who specialise in the buying and selling of fine Swiss luxury watches in the beautiful city of Edinburgh and online at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. Hello and welcome back to The Watch Guys. This week I'm talking about Corono, a Japanese watch brand created by master watchmaker Hajime Osaka. He is famous around the world for creating truly inspirational, high-end, complicated watches bought by the very elite of watch collectors, including, reportedly, the Emperor of Japan. This week's watch is the Corono Anniversary Green Mori, and it's a watch that caused considerable controversy because it sold out in 42 seconds. This, my friends, is the Corono Anniversary Green Mori. Mori meaning forest in Japanese. It is a collector's piece. It was made in very small quantities. It is extremely hard to get hold of. And in fact, now, unless you can find one of the original owners, you've got no chance of ever securing one. I'm extremely pleased that I've actually got one of these as the centerpiece of my new Corono collection. I think it's an absolutely fascinating watch. It's an incredible story and I'm privileged to bring you that story this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the history of Corono and its models. I'm going to talk about Hajime Asaka himself. We're going to do a full unboxing. I'm going to tell you exactly why I love this watch and why it's a great part of the Watch Guys collection. So does that sound good to you? Fantastic. Let's get on with it. Before we get started, a quick wristwatch check, and under the black jumper this week, I have a Breitling 806 Navitimer 1959 Tribute. This was released in 2019. It's a 41 millimeter manual winding watch, and it's a tribute to the original 806 Navitimer. It's spectacularly well executed. It's a beautiful item. It feels and looks like a classic 806 Navitimer, but it's all modern. I'm not a big Breitling guy, but I really love this one. Corono is a new watch brand from master Japanese watchmaker Hajime Asaka. And because the waiting list for his watches is now over five years for even the most simplest of models, he wanted to create something that was more accessible, more affordable, something that you could wear every day. That's why he created Corono just over a year ago. And this watch was created to celebrate the first year of Corono. So it is very special. All Coronos were made in very small quantities. This was no exception. Originally, they were only going to make 50 of these anniversary models. What happened is they opened up their online ordering system. They set up all kind of assurances that people were going to have five minutes at the checkout to make sure that they could complete it properly and that they were wheedling out people who might buy it and flip it or people that were going to buy more than one. It went live and instantly it sold out. They had over 1,500 people trying to access the website simultaneously. The whole thing fell over. Nobody had any time to get the watches. No one had a five minute secure checkout. That was all nonsense. They disappeared instantly and there were a lot of really annoyed people. So as a gesture of good faith and to try and quell the growing amount of discord about this watch in the watch community, Corono did something unprecedented they actually opened up the ordering process fully with no restrictions for 10 minutes. Whoever got in in that 10 minute period would be able to order one of these securely and be assured of getting one. And that's exactly what they did. And as a result, rather than 50 of these watches, there are 288, which of course is still a tiny number. Hajime Osaka first created a design office in 1992, but it was concerned primarily with product design, mundane everyday items. It wasn't until 1997 that he started looking seriously at watches, and it took a further eight years for him to create his first original watch. In 2009, he created his first tourbillon and has since become a highly reputed watchmaker in Japan catering to elite watch collectors, and each one is bespoke and personal for the customer. Currently, Osaka pieces include the Chronograph, the Tourbillon Pura, and the quite exquisite Tsunami. But the trouble is, you just cannot get hold of them. Average waiting times for one of Osaka's bespoke creations is currently five 
years. To combat this and bring his work to a greater worldwide audience, Osaka created the Corono and Chrono Tokyo brands, the latter for the Japanese domestic market and Corono for the West, that features all of the design and delicacy of his main watches, but at a fraction of the price and far more accessible and easy to get. The difference between the two brands is in the logo. The Corono dials feature Japanese kanji symbols to make them look unashamedly Japanese, whilst the Chrono Tokyo dials resemble, if anything, a classic Hoya logo. This is an example of a Chrono Tokyo, and this is the Corono. So as you can see, very, very similar design language, very similar look, very similar materials, but the fact that they both exist is infuriating for watch collectors. Which one do you go for? Do you go for the Japanese domestic market, or do you go for the one that's for the rest of the world? If it helps, Chrono Tokyo, perhaps because it was confusing the brand, has now been discontinued. So that's the end of Chrono Tokyo. Which will become more popular or valuable in the future? Who knows? Only time will tell. What characterises the look and feel of the Corono brand is the fact that it's got a round dial, it has sapphire glass which is made to look like old Hesalite crystal, they're all on leather straps, they all feature high gloss cylindrical dials, they all have rails around the outside, and they all come at affordable prices but in very small quantities. Corono are ordered directly from the website, but with typically less than 100 of each colour and dial variation, competition is fierce. And unfortunately, profiteering is rife, which thankfully Osaka is trying to stop with careful customer selection techniques. Corono's previous mouth-watering collections include the Bunkyo Tokyo in three colour variations, blue, grey and here in eggshell, 50 pieces each of those, the classic Rewa in copper and silver, 50 pieces each, and the sublime Chronograph 1 in black and white dials, of which there are 68 each. And it is that combination of sumptuous simplicity and rarity that is making collectors go crazy for Corono. And if you can get your hands on one of them, you can be sure that you've got one of the finest Japanese independent watches available today. And now it's time to enter Unboxovision and look at the truly unique packaging for this watch. And there you go, as you can see, it comes wrapped in a handkerchief, in a scarf. Look at that, a sort of tsunami ocean pattern. And inside we've got a welcome to the Corono family card. So a little welcome message there from the guys at Corono, which I absolutely love. It's not handwritten, but it's still lovely. We've also got this little black pouch here which inside has got a little bracelet for you to wear, which has got a certain significance for the brand. And then as all the Corona watches come in, you get this very understated, subtle, papyrusy, bambooy type textured box. And inside you lift it off, lift, you take the outer sleeve off, and then you lift off the box itself and inside Again, very simple. You've got your registration cards and instructions. There's your instructions for setting the watch. And then inside the box itself, there it is. Very, very simple, very understated. A beautiful anniversary model in quite the most innovative and special packaging that I think I've ever seen. But let's talk in more detail about the watch itself. Why I love it, why it's part of the collection, and why it's so special. As you can see, the defining feature is that gorgeous, green dial, personally selected by Hajime Sake himself. It is utterly unique, it's a high gloss jade colour, and it marks it out as the unique anniversary model. Look at the way that the green changes in all light conditions. It's absolutely stunning. Unmistakable as anything else, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much. As soon as I saw this thing, I had to get one for the collection. I'll tell you about the buying story in just a minute. It's a light, modestly sized watch at 37 millimeters in steel. It's therefore very light on the wrist. You hardly even know you're wearing it. The simple dial is almost art deco in style. There's practically nothing on it. You've just got the Japanese symbols at the top and Bunkyo Tokyo written on there, which is a tribute to where Osaka has his design studio. And then just simply automatic written in the lower portion. You've got the classic chrome triple rail that goes around the edge of the dial itself, sort of like a chrome effect, almost like a 50s American car. The hour markers sit just underneath the curvature of the sapphire crystal. Getting the old crystal look and curve using sapphire can be extremely expensive and labour intensive. So it's a tribute that they managed to do this 
for such an affordable watch. The strap is a humble matte effect leather, which is black on both sides. Corona will sell you limited edition straps after the fact, and in fact, I've got this one coming to me very soon, which I think will look stunning with this watch. The Green Mori uses the 90S5 Miyota movement, which is wholly made in Japan to give full control for all of the components and not rely on an outside supplier. The watch was originally going to have a 2824 ETA movement, but in the end, they decided to go for something wholly Japanese. On the case back, it's got designed by Hajime Osaka, the serial number and Bunkyo to honor the place where the design studio is located in Tokyo. But I've quickly become seduced by the simplicity, the quality of finish and the execution of Corono watches. I have to say that out of the two brands, Corono and Chrono Tokyo, it's Corono that is far more attractive to me. So what's the buying story? of this watch. Was I one of those lucky people that managed to get one of these in the first 42 seconds? No, of course not. There was no chance of me getting this watch ever. For a start, when they came on sale, it was in the middle of the night in the UK. Also, I just wasn't prepared for it. I didn't have the checkout all set up like some people do. I didn't have any bots working for me to try and secure it instantly, which again, many people sadly do. So I learned about this watch after the fact, which meant my only option to get one was to buy it from one of the lucky 288s. This anniversary Mori I actually purchased from someone who was lucky enough to get it and clearly had slipped through the net a little bit in terms of customers because they were selling it for profit on eBay of all places. I know, what the hell was I thinking? eBay. As you can imagine, this is something I hate doing, but when you're talking about something as rare and desirable as this, you have to go wherever you find it. And in this case, it was eBay. And yes, I had to pay well over two times the price of this watch to secure it. But in this case, because there are so few in the world, I was prepared to do that. I've now got a warm feeling that I own one of these watches and no one can take it away from me. I'm really enamored with the Corono brand. I'm loving the sort of watches that they're producing. And I have now started my Corono collection, which I'm looking forward to adding to over the coming years. Maybe at some point in the future, I can get one directly from Corono. Who knows? I will be trying for pretty much every one that I like. I have a particular love for the black dial chronograph, and I'm also madly in love with the blue dial and eggshell dial classic Rewas. Here I've got two examples of the Corono. I've got one of the original flat gray classic Rewas, and of course, the anniversary Mori. Both with many of the same design cues, but they couldn't be more different on the wrist and to look at. I've also managed to get two examples of the domestic Chrono Tokyo watches, uh, known as the Bullseye. They may be Japanese only, they may have only made a hundred each of these, but for some reason I don't like them as much as the Corono versions. Interestingly, when you hold a Corono and a Chrono Tokyo together, despite the fact that they're very similar looking watches, the quality difference is actually quite evident. The Corono watches feel so much better built than the Chrono Tokyo, and the straps in particular are a lot more substantial and special. So there you go, hope you enjoyed the Corono Anniversary Green Mori. I hope you learned something. I hope you are now as interested in Corono as I am, and I hope I've opened your eyes to this fascinating new Japanese brand. If you like what I'm doing on The Watch Guys, please subscribe, leave comments and likes. I read all the comments, I reply to many of them, and subscribing makes the channel grow stronger. There'll be another Watch Guys episode next week.